will we be seeing this band move east? I know you mentioned Arizona, Phoenix. After that, what does it look like? Should the rest of the country be on alert? Well, this looks like it's going to be confined in the southwestern part of the country over the couple, next couple of days. And I want to point out, let's start first with California. It's not over in California. We still have this slow moving band of repeated rounds of heavy rain that we're going to be dealing with tonight into tomorrow. And it may get uh, recharged a few times here as we head into the L.A. area. Uh, so don't let your guard down in Los Angeles and uh, and surrounding areas. And as we mentioned, especially south towards San Diego, which may sort of be the focus of the problems in that LA to uh, San Diego corridor as we head into tonight and also on Tuesday. There's also some signs that, as I mentioned, there can be a few more rounds. It doesn't look as widespread or perhaps as heavy as we've already dealt with in the LA area, but there can be more rainfall that can lead to flash flooding concerns once again on Tuesday and perhaps even into Wednesday as some additional storm systems arrive. Again, not doesn't look like it's as widespread as we've been dealing with, but still lesser amounts of rainfall now can still cause big problems and renew some of those flooding concerns. So download the AccuWeather app, free download. We talk about those impacts. You can time that out on our interactive radar and the other tools that we that we provide within the app. It's a great resource in this type of situation. And then shifting gears further east, as we mentioned, that whole storm system and that ribbon of high levels of uh, moisture in the atmosphere, that atmospheric river, again, not as focused and not as strong, but it still is going to be impacting Las Vegas over toward Phoenix. And uh, we are concerned, as we mentioned, even into Tuesday and Wednesday toward Phoenix of the, of the risk for flash flooding in some of those areas across parts of Arizona and Nevada. And then further north, Brittany, into the mountains of uh, northern Arizona. We're talking about Flagstaff, the Grand Canyon, the I-40, the I-17 corridor uh, north of Phoenix. And you get into Flagstaff and the Grand Canyon area. Look out. We're talking about heavy snow accumulations there in the mountains in the Grand Canyon area and also Flagstaff as that moisture uh, is uh, met with some colder air in the mountains and we expect a feet of snow in the highest elevations there. So a big mess still on the way across other parts of the southwestern U.S. A big mess is certainly on the way, but I am curious about more north in California in San Francisco in that area. Have they already seen the worst or should they still be bracing for impact? Yeah, in those areas, uh, the, the worst of the storm certainly has uh, moved to the south and to the east, and the cleanup has begun there. But as I mentioned, there's going to be a few extra uh, uh, storm systems that are going to try to drop down the California coast here over the next couple of days. That's why there's some showers and even a brief uh, uh, the risk for some heavier rain at times. Uh, but it looks like the most significant impacts in the San Francisco area for now um, are most likely uh, have concluded, but still any additional rainfall can result in some problems in those areas.